Okay. The very first point is about instructor or say trainer. My name is Lakshman. When I talk about my experience, I have 15 years of experience on Oracle applications. So my specializations are, I worked on 11i version. I worked on R12. Is 11i and R12 are EBS. EBS 11i and EBS R12. Now I'm working on Fusion applications. In Fusion applications, I'm specialized in financials application, SCM, supply chain applications, and PPO, project portfolio management. So this is all about me. Now we'll just get into the course related discussions. Our course, what we are going to deal is Oracle Fusion Cloud Financials. Here we are going to learn applications. We are going to learn Oracle Fusion Cloud Financials applications. Which financials applications we are going to learn? We are going to learn as a part of this course, as a financials applications, Oracle Fusion Accounts Table, Oracle Fusion Accounts Receivables, Oracle Fusion Fixed Assets. Oracle Fusion Cash Management and Oracle Fusion General Ledger Application. So these are going to be core applications within the financials. Along with that, we learn Oracle Fusion expense. Oracle Fusion tax. Okay. And so from these, what we are going to learn? Primarily in the Fusion Accounts Table application, we'll see the invoice creation and the payment creation. Very high level, I'm just touching those points. From Oracle Fusion Accounts Receivable, we'll learn transaction creations and receipt creations. From fixed assets, we'll see how to create the assets and how to calculate the depreciation. The cash management application, we will learn how to manage the bank accounts, and how to perform the bank statement reconciliations. From general ledger, we'll see how to prepare the reports. And from fusion expense application, we will learn how to create the employee expense reports based on that, how to create the invoices. From fusion tax application, how to calculate the tax. Just I'm giving very key points. Once we get into these applications, we will come to know the detailed functionality of each and every application. Just I'm outlining what is the primary purpose of this each and every application. 
okay the primary purpose of oracle fusion accounts payable application is to create invoices and to process the payments when you talk about creating invoices we have a different type of invoices based on the business scenario we create different type of invoices we process different type of payments and there are different scenarios which we have to understand we'll discuss everything the same way receivables also will create different type of transactions and receipts in fixed assets also will create different type of assets we calculate depreciation retirements there are many activities when you talk about cash management application the bank accounts and bank statement reconciliations what are the bank accounts are owned by our client or company is all just we'll see and we do the bank statement reconciliation so now just i'm trying to introduce what what are the applications we are going to deal what we do within that by seeing that if you don't understand no worries we have enough time to discuss and understand just take as introduction by using oracle fusion a general ledger application we can prepare the reports apart from that there are many concepts within the gl we will work on all those and we have oracle fusion expense application where we can create employee expenses expense reports based on that you can create invoices to make the payments to employ employees as a part of reimbursement process and when we are going to work on these applications wherever we have we want to calculate the tax for tax calculation purpose you can use the fusion tax application okay you can use the fusion tax applications so along with that what else we are going to learn as applications we will work on oracle fusion bpm a b here bpm stands for business process management so with this bpm what we can do is we can do the approvals we can set up approvals so when you create invoice in the payables you want to set approvals when you create some transaction general ledger application you want to set approvals as per business process those all you can set up from oracle fusion bpm business process management if you want to implement any application you take any application here if you want to implement we have to use oracle fusion fsm functional setup manager the fusion if you want to do any setup if you want to implement any application we have to use functional setup manager okay by using the functional setup manager you will be able to do the setups and along with this we will discuss when we are going to implement fusion applications for any client how we have to design the solution that we call as okay enterprise structure say oracle fusion enterprise structure if you do implementation for any client we have to understand their business and we have to design the solution for overall business that we create in the fusion applications as a fusion enterprise structure so when we are going to work on financials applications the neighbor applications are scm supply chain management applications when we work on financials application say for example there is one consultant who is working on financials for last 4 years or 5 years if you talk to that finance consultant they says yes i, I know so and so from scm also that means some basic knowledge is required from scm applications also if you are going to work as oracle fusion financials consultant after learning this course we can work as a oracle fusion cloud financials consultant if you apply for this position definitely the companies we look at your profile along with the financials do you have basic knowledge in scm applications or not for that purpose 
we will learn basics from oracle fusion product management let me take a little below oracle fusion product management oracle fusion inventory management oracle fusion upstaging application oracle fusion order management application so these applications are scm applications okay scm supply chain management applications okay when you stay somewhere you should know minimum about your neighbors the same way when we are going to work on financials application okay the neighbor applications are scm applications okay there will be communication between the finance and the scm applications as a part of system so we should aware of these applications from these applications what level of knowledge we required we will go through okay we'll go through we'll implement all this it's not like i'll show you the process okay we'll implement those and along with this we will work on p2p and o2c cycles p2p p2p means if you to pay o2c means order to cash these are two cycles we call as p2p cycle o2c cycle procure to pay and order to cash that means it's all about if you want to purchase something and if you want to pay what are the different applications are going to involve in the business process order to cash if you are getting order from the customer till you receive the payment from customer what process is followed what are the diff different applications or different departments are involved as a part of the company business processes this all will discuss very detail level so that you get a clarity how business takes place in the organization so based on that you can start working on that not only discussing about p2p and o2c i'll take you through the details setups and process in the system also okay detail process the system environment yeah so primarily this is what we have to count we are going to learn there are many other things which we learn along with this okay so along with this we learn many other applications also so that you no need to we no need to discuss as a primary those anyway we required when we start working on the these applications or else let me add something else we'll work on oracle fusion idm idm stands for identity manager this is related to security okay user creations giving the permissions to the users as per their role in the company those all activities you can do as a part of oracle fusion idm the same you can call as oim also okay both are same instead of calling it as oracle fusion idm you can call it as oracle fusion oim oim stands for both are same okay you may come across sometimes with the different names so take those two names both are same so in our classes we will see everything we set up from the scratch okay i am not going to refer any sample data everything every whatever the points here we are discussing as application 
everything we do from the scratch. Even this SEM applications also we are going to set up to understand how the process can take place across the supply chain and the finance applications. So this is what we are going to learn as a part of okay, financial applications. We will discuss what is the meaning of fusion, what is the meaning of cloud, we'll talk about it. Okay, those are simple to understand, but what we are going to learn as a part of this course, these are the points we have to consider. Okay. Yeah. And whatever we are going to do, when we do the implementation, how we do, that is the approach we are going to follow. Okay, it is a training. I don't want to introduce something. This is how this can be done. No. When we are going to work for any implementation project, what level of skill set you should have that everything I am going to include as a part of this course. And we have a detailed course curriculum also. Okay, we have detailed course curriculum. I'll just walk through the course curriculum. Okay, so that you can have a better understanding. Right. Here you can see these are the applications we are going to cover. As I just mentioned, Oracle Fusion, General Ledger, Payables, Receivables, Cash Management, Fixed Resets, Expense, Tax, Purchasing, Product Management and Inventory, Order Management, P2P Cycle, O2C so Cycle. The AGIS is not an application, it is a separate uh, future. We'll work on that. And we'll work on the rapid implementation. Rapid implementation means you can load the setups. You can load the setups into our applications and the key features related to reporting, okay, financial reporting studio, smart view, BI reports, OTBA reports, and data conversions. When you do the implementation, we load the data from previous system to fusion applications. It's all conversions. Okay, now conversions is the functional task. The functional consultants can do. Now we are doing the functional course only. So the course, what we are going to deal that we call as a functional course. Functional means without any coding or programming. And security console. Okay, we discussed, we referred with the name called as IDM or OM, that only we call as security console. And Oracle Fusion, functional setup manager FSM, Oracle Fusion, business process management BPM. Along with that, I'll take you through the enterprise structure, how the solution can be designed, the rapid implementation by using the spreadsheets, data imports and exports. Okay, I'll, I'll just throw a light on how the integrations takes place in the fusion application. Just what are the idea or we should get being a functional consultant that I'll take you through. The invoice, the scanned image solutions and uh, how to write SQL queries in the fusion applications, the BPM approvals. And the complete course I'm going to compare with EBS. If somebody is from EBS background, so definitely I'm going to compare how we have the solution in EBS, how we have in the fusion. Okay, this all just I'll touch base wherever the comparison is possible and wherever the new change. What Oracle did is the complete Oracle EBS R12 solution they taken into fusion for financial applications. Okay. So that is the reason. If somebody is from the EBS background, for them, it would be very easy to understand. And the environment for our learning, what are the environment we are going to use? That environment we are going to use as a fresh environment. When you are working for any client, if you get access to fresh environment, from where to start your setups, how you start with the implementation, that approach only we are going to follow and we are going to use the latest version or latest release of this vision applications for our learning also. When you look at the detailed course curriculum, you could see that uh, general ledger application, the basic setups and the different concepts which we are going to deal. We deal with all these concepts. Here I discussed just from the Oracle Fusion general ledger application, we prepare the reports. Apart from reports, what we can do, you can do many things. This is all you can do. These are the different, different concepts. Okay. So for many concepts, you have to do the additional setups and you can work on that specific concept. We will discuss which is the business scenario, in which business scenario, what concept we can 
implement from Fusion applications, we'll discuss everything detail level for each and every application. If you are going to implement Oracle Fusion accounts payable applica payables application, what are the basic setups? How you have to set up the payables application ready to use? These are the setups we are going to perform in the system environment. We will discuss about each and every setup. It is not like if you want to implement payables, these are the setups we have to do. No. Why we have to do each and every setup? That we should aware. So we'll discuss everything. And these are the different concepts which we are going to implement. These are the different business scenarios when you look at any company as a part of payables department. So we'll discuss all and we'll work on all this. Okay. When you talk about receivables application, these are the configurations. Okay. Configurations we have to set up. If somebody is very new to this terminology, what you are hearing in this discussions for first time, don't worry about it. Everything will come to know. Okay. Don't try to understand much because this is the first session for you if you are not aware of Oracle applications. So wait for a few sessions. Everything will come to know very, very detailed level. Okay. So try to take these terms what we are using here. If you don't know, just try to remember those. That's enough for now. So we'll just do the setups. That means we'll implement receivables after implementing. So these are the different concepts which we are going to work on receivables application. These are nothing but different business scenarios, different business concepts, which we are going to implement. And we'll see the process flows, how these can be managed in the receivables application. The same way fusion cash management, we discussed in the fusion cash management. Please go on mute. Sorry, please go on mute. As a part of fusion cash management, okay, as a part of fusion cash management. So here we discuss, we'll create the primarily bank accounts and do bank statement reconciliations. Along with that, we will see how to do the, how to create some external transaction. I'll include a few more concepts. Okay, here in the course curriculum, I think I didn't include those. There are a few more concepts also, bank account, bank transfers. Okay, and uh, we can say, uh, I mean, the quick payments, ad hoc payments we call in the cash management. There are a few more concepts I will include, which you don't see in the course curriculum. Yep. And when I talk about fixed assets, these are the configurations we have to complete in the system to use the fixed assets. Once we are ready with the configuration, we will work on all these concepts as a part of fixed assets. And uh, when you talk about Oracle Fusion expense, okay, these are the configurations we'll, we'll see, uh, see. And uh, these are the this is a process related activities we are going to do along with that i will cover not only expense reports and all i will include few more things topics okay creating cash advances and what else we can do just i'll try to include those also within this okay here i just mentioned only we create expense reports based on that we create invoice in the payables along with that how to request cash advances how employees can request for advance in the organization how that can be approved, finally, how that can be audited, and how they get the payment from the payables department. I'll include all those. And when you talk about fusion tax, okay, to calculate the tax and the payables or receivables or expense application, so what setups need to be completed, how tax can be calculated. In the same way as a part of P2P cycle. Okay, P2P cycle means where inventory application, purchasing application, payables applications are involved. Okay, to implement that complete business cycle, business process in the system environment, what setups we have to do in which application, what setups are required, what is the meaning of each and every setup, we'll discuss and we'll do, do in the system. After doing how to create the requisitions, purchase orders, how to create receipt, okay, how we can check on hand quantity based on the purchase orders or requisitions, how to create invoices in the payables application. I'll take you through how to, still there are few concepts which uh, we are going to discuss. I think those are not added in this. How to create invoice automatically in the payables based on the receipt. Those I didn't mention, those we call as ERS or pay and receipt concept. Those also I'll cover. And other side, go to see, order to cash cycle. So, as a part of order to cash cycle, we'll complete the, all these setups related to order management. 
<clears throat> reality these setups not only just are related to order management these all are related to order management and the pricing and GOP global order promising all these application related setups you have to complete to work on the O2C cycle after completing all these setups we'll go through the process of how to create the sales orders how to confirm the sales orders finally how to create the invoice in the receivables as auto invoice we'll just see all those by using the functional setup manager creating the projects etc this all we will discuss yeah so that, that's all about the course curriculum and <clears throat> Once we're done with everything in the system, I'll take you through how real implementations takes place. Okay. How the real implementations takes place, the process. So what about the team? Who will be part of the team? And what would be our responsibility as a part of implementation team, as a finance consultant, what we have to do? In which scenarios we have to talk to the client, in which scenarios we have to talk to the technical team, in which scenarios we have to talk to the DBAs in the project, and what is the end-to-end -end implementation process? Okay, what is the end-to-end -end implementation process? If you are going to work on the support project, okay, support project, what is the process? And if you are going to work on upgrade project. What is the process? It's all we'll discuss. There are many activities we have to do as a part of implementation project. Not only discussing how that implementation takes place, what are the different activities we do as a part of implementation? <clears throat> what is the meaning of each and every activity? And what are the documents we prepare as a part of implementation? Okay, the documents, what documents we prepare and when we do the implementation, depending on the company, they follow the different methodologies. AIM. Okay. Application implementation methodology. Nowadays, many companies are not using this, but still we'll discuss the latest one is OUM. Okay. Varakil Unified. Methods. Okay. What is the aim? What is the OEM? It is all, all are real time. Really. Okay. After learning this much, say if you learn all these for your for to become your Oracle Fusion Financial Consultant. So I can say even you learn this much, also, I can say you learned 80% only. If you learn these remaining, which are real related to real time. So I can say a hundred percent. That would be hundred percent learning. So if you don't know this 20%, which is very, very important, because when you are working, you should know this. One. If you know the applications by learning all this, that's well and good. Okay, it's a very good coverage. Okay, we, this is very good coverage. So along with that, the 20 are you treat as 30%, which is related to real time. That's very, very important. I'm going to cover these also in our classes. Not only this, how to prepare for interview. Okay. Interview preparation. I'll discuss how to prepare for interview and uh, what is the approach, what is the strategy you have to follow when you attend the interviews, how you have to deal with the interviewer, and many tips I'll share with you, and many interview questions I'll just uh, discuss with you. Not only just telling these are the interview questions, this is how you have to attend. For which question, how you have to answer? Take one question. If you answer, you may answer to that, but it is not the up to the mark in interview point of view. But reality, the content what you are talking, that is true. So when you answer to any question, how you should answer, how you should not answer, there are many points. Those are very, very important. Those all we'll discuss during this interview preparation related classes. We will help you for your resume building. Okay. And if you are planning for certifications on this Oracle Fusion financial application, yes, we will help you. Okay. So certification. Fusion certification. You will get help from us. Okay. What sort of help you will get? 
that we can we can discuss okay but if you are if you have a plan of doing the certification you will get help from us so that's all about this apart from this if you are expecting anything we are ready to include as a part of our course curriculum okay we not at freezed we we didn't lock it it's open it's unlocked so apart from this anything else you want to learn which will be useful for you to learn this financial application to get the job and to survive not only learning after learning you have to get the job okay so learning when you are learning this is very important <clears throat> how much you are learning is very important so by keeping the title as oracle fusion cloud financial application i can teach 50% also okay i am not talking about who is teaching 50% who is teaching 40% outside and who are charging very less for that course i am not talking about it when you are learning how much you are learning is very very important okay but in our course you are going to learn really what you need okay really what you need what you are learning is which will help you to get the job after getting job surviving in the job also very very important so you are going to learn what is required to get the job what is required to survive in the job that i am going to cover because i know why you are learning this course okay not to know what is there in the course you are learning your target is getting job and surviving so that is the reason i designed this course which will help you 100% okay which will help you 100% so apart from this if you want to learn anything if you know already about this course or if you are from the oracle ebs background okay or else you are you may be from technical background or you may be dba you might be working as a dba database administrator or else you may be apps dba or else you might be coming from a people soft background jd adverse or else some other technical background or else you may be fresher if you are a fresher to this applications you didn't work you don't worry about it i know what you need i am just taking care of there are staff profiles who has like who are coming from different backgrounds apart from this if you want to learn anything please let me know i'll include so this is all about what we are going to learn it's a certification from the oracle university or erp3 certificate i'm sorry we will get the certification from the erp or oracle oracle university no i am talking about certification from oracle okay certification if you want to get certification from erp tree it is a simple job right what you will do with that there should be there should be recognition in the market and one more thing the certifications are not mandatory compulsory okay if you are interested you can do like uh, one or two certifications and you can include in your cv as you are certified consultant even if you include in your cv still whatever they test they test okay so that is there okay if you are interested if you want to do but not mandatory Cert doing certification is not a mandatory thing if you are interested you can do it it will cost uh, in between 15 to 20000 for each certification from financials very primarily we have certification for payables application receivables application and general ledger applications okay for these three applications the key key in the key applications key finance these five we call as key financials applications key applications in the financials out of that you have a certification for ap ar and gl you can do one certification that is enough just to showcase in your cv as your certified consultant you may do it but in other ways just uh, you don't need to think to do re remaining certifications one is enough when you are starting later if you want to do you can plan for other certifications also okay this is all about course curriculum okay and i am going to discuss everything very very detail level it is not like showing something and doing something we will discuss everything i'll make sure that the content will reach to everyone because that is very very important the reason is the course what we are doing is this is a functional course okay this is a functional course there are in oracle applications in oracle fusion applications we have a different courses like oracle functional courses and technical and dba 
functional means what are the applications oracle is providing you have to learn how to use those technical means they can create new applications also there is a requirement in the business they can create new applications and they can create something new there are the different we call them call all those with the different names like integrations custom reports custom custom objects we will we will discuss all those we will we'll come to know we don't need to worry about it as a part of the implementation okay as a part of real implementation process what what would be the role of technical team team what would be the role of dba team what would be the role of functional team functional means we falls under functional this course is functional that means no coding no programming anyone can learn this anyone can understand anyone can work on it so you are using the facebook who taught you how to use the facebook you started accessing slowly you learn but those that facebook also one of the application facebook is one of the application but that is small application there is a limited functionality limited features in that what hardly you can do you can do some posting the rest all goes around that posting only but when we deal with these applications it is not for simple activity you can do we, have, we can do many activities since we can do many activities you are going to learn simple activity means anyone can go and learn there are many activities if you take example of accounts payable application within the accounts payable application okay we are going to do many activities we are going to do many activities these are the different different activities we are going to do in facebook primarily doing to just we have we can use that for posting so simple activity apart from that you can do few miscellaneous activities also but when i talk about payables these many we have to do these many we have to do in the sense we have to learn so we are not going to do any changes what oracle is providing you are not going to create which is not in the application so everything if you take example of accounts payables in accounts payables what we can do what are the different type of invoices we can create why we have to create as per business what is the business process of payables application and what are the different type of payments can be processed what are the business scenarios apart from this invoices and payments if anything else can be done what can be what can be performed within the accounts payable application how this accounts payable application is going to help to any business for the department called as payables department this is what we are going to learn here when you are going to learn this applications primarily where you have to focus what you have to learn how to set up what is the process how accounting entries takes place what reports we generate and the basic tables this is the area where we are going to focus that's what really you require to understand when you learn so that will help you in all the ways okay so that's all about the course curriculum and what we are going to learn from this apart from that what we discussed about this course curriculum the additional benefits what you get is this okay so complete real time process will discuss it could be i'll take you different type of projects one type of project is implementation another type of project support another type of project is upgrade i'll take you through the complete detail process okay we have to discuss a lot here it's not like simple i'll discuss for 10 minutes or one one hour it takes too much of time i'll just really i'll spend good amount of time to take you through this complete and detailed processes i don't uh, by putting this title i'm not going to say step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 over yes you will accept with me now when you get into the company that is not going to be enough for you so that is reason i'll explain i'll take you through very very detailed process by spending good amount of time okay the same way everything will discuss and we'll talk about how when you get into the real time environment when you get into any company you should not feel what is this what is that max what is a possible through our training i am going to cover everything i am going to cover everything as a part of all these what documents will prepare what methodologies companies follows when they do implementation how you have to prepare for interview and uh, once you are ready like uh, how your cv should looks like which kind of what kind of cvs the i mean the practice can select okay what you should include in the cv and if you want to do certification yes you can do that 
So this is all we are going to discuss. So we are going to cover each and everything what you required from your side, how much time you are going to invest to learn this course. That's very, very important. I'm going to cover what you need from my side. Okay, from my side, you know, I know what you need, even if you don't know what you need from this course. So that is the reason I'm going to include everything in this course. From your side, you should have a good amount of time to practice what we are going to learn in the system. You should have a time to practice all those. Along with that, you should have a time to prepare. Okay, I'll explain you P2P cycle, P2P for Q2P cycle. After explaining, you have to prepare it. If somebody is going to ask you, could you please explain P2P cycle? If you say, no, that is not enough. You should be able to present it. You should be able to explain. For that, you have to read and remember. I'll tell you how to prepare it for interview. There I'll explain like whether you have to do the presentations and how you can get ready to bring the experience. Even if you don't have experience, I'll take you through all those points. Okay, I'll take you through all those points. You don't need to worry about anything. So I'll just, I'll cover each and everything what you required. And max I'm going to cover. It is not like in payables by keeping the title as Oracle Fusion Accounts Payable. I'm not going to cover very limited concept. Max what we have in the payables I'm going to cover. You can look at the course curriculum. Max I'm going to cover. Okay, max I'm going to cover. So it is not like just application names, what we have in those application max, I'm going to cover. Because if you learn 50, 60, 70% of concepts from these applications, so that is not enough. You can feel and you can say, I completed Oracle Fusion Cloud Financials application training. Yes, that is true. You complete how much you completed, what is included in that course, that is enough or, enough or not to get the job or to survive. That's very, very important. By considering all these points, I just designed this course, 100%, it will help you. So this is all about the course curriculum. On the course cur curriculum, any questions from anyone, please? Uh, Lakshman, sir, this is Surbhi. Please. Sir, uh, as you said that EBS comparison will fusion will happen on one of the class, no? One of no, the I class know. not. One of the class not. Wherever it, the comparison is applicable, there I'll touch base. So it will be always question in an interview also to get the job because I am not yeah. from EPS background. Okay, good. See, that totally depends. See, for example, if somebody is going to like uh, apply for this job, what is the best possibility they have for on Oracle Fusion Cloud Financials? Four years experience only. Okay. Four or four, uh, four and a half. So 2007, yeah, they can go up to max five. Now. In your CV, along with this fusion, along with this fusion, if you are going to showcase EBS at all experience, definitely they'll ask when you say you, you have experience on Oracle EBS financials. And now you are working on Oracle Fusion Financial. When you say, definitely they'll ask, tell me my top key differences between the EBS and the Fusion. Or else tell me a few differences for payables, receivables. Definitely those you can see as a questions. Yeah. So we will cover, okay, we will cover. Definitely when you apply for job with EBS and Fusion, those would be very much useful for you. Other side, to understand in better way, that information will help you. Who doesn't have experience on EBS? Anyway, we are going to cover each and everything in the fusion, how it works and all. The additional points, whatever I'm going to talk about, this is how we have in EBS in the fusion. You see, this is how we have in fusion. They change the name, that they change the game of doing so-and-so activity. Those, they can ignore it. They can make a note, but with that, they cannot do anything since they don't have EBS experience. Since they are learning Fusion applications directly, so whatever they require to understand about Fusion applications, they'll or from EBS background, functional or technical or techno functional or DBA, whatever it may be, but they know, here they can compare, they can understand. I'll, I'll include those points also, wherever one we have to understand by comparing if applicable. Okay, sir. And yeah. so one more thing, in this uh, job profile, uh, recently I checked that it is, they are asking techno-functional consultant. 
so uh, we can apply after doing this course for the same functional this is a functional course okay in fusion technical means technical stuff is very much limited okay because when you talk about the cloud okay when you talk about the cloud maybe we will discuss about this cloud in tomorrow session after that still if you have that question open you can ask me yeah so first of all you have to understand what is possible what is not possible in the fusion based on that you can understand so as a part of technical what we can include what you cannot take into technical area those points will understand so if you are else if you want to get quick answer if you want to learn technical you have to learn ba reports and uh, integrations like in the soa there are different options okay oracle integration cloud we have these options apart from that if you want to go with you can learn adf adf based developments okay oracle integration cloud oic so these are the primary which you treat as a like a technical related work ba reports oic uh, integrations if you want to integrate third party applications with the fusion applications connection purpose we can use it adf means all together developing the pages so in fusion you no need to work on the data conversions okay those data conversions can be done by functional people they simplified the process still if you want to understand you can raise question in the end of the session okay we can talk about it because it's not related to many right so okay sir okay sir yeah thanks any other questions hi sir yes yeah, go ahead. hello yeah venkat please please go ahead uh, is there any requirement for ask can you be bit loud your voice is a bit low Uh, any requirement like SQL? SQL is requirement. Okay. When we are going to learn, okay. When we are going to learn, it's always good if you know the basic SQL. SQL, structure query language. How much knowledge we require from SQL? You can spend one hour time and you can learn. That much SQL knowledge is required. Okay. You can just Google uh, like in the YouTube like how to write Oracle SQL queries. <clears throat> whatever you see in that video or one hour that the basic even i'll show you in our classes how to write the sql queries in fusion where you can write that that i'll take you through. okay okay the so basic, another, another one you can learn basic that will that will be useful for you okay is there yeah. report designing is that the report designing the ba reports is a purely technical job okay apart from that reports like we have frs reports financial report in studio or you can call as hfr both are same okay hfr ip in financial report this we are going to work on this okay this is very much important for us along with that otba reports or act to transaction business intelligence this is also our area but ba is purely technical technical people can develop the ba reports So we are on this And general ledger reports are providing the seeded reports ba seeded reports in the fusion applications that will see where where we can see how to run all those we will go through but creating new ba reports is a technical job that we are not going to talk there is there you have to write the program these are already already predefined reports yeah oracle is providing in fusion you can find ba predefined reports seeded reports for all the applications for all these applications oracle is providing the ba reports ready made reports you can use them. if you want additional reports we can contact technical team they will develop okay yeah what is the process in involved if technical people are going to develop the new report that you will understand as a part of implementation support in these two scenarios we can touch the topic so okay. yeah i'm just uh, going to mute everyone please unmute if you have any questions hello please ah uh, sir good evening sir good morning sir this is raju please raju please okay actually i don't have any knowledge of oracle like this 
No issue. And, we are going to. We will see everything here. No need to worry about it. And and one more thing is uh, actually like we have a long queue period gap also. I think I passed in two thousand eleven. So if you don't mind, okay, this sort of information we can uh, we can have one on one call. Okay. Yeah, you talk talk to the team. Team will arrange the call so that there we can discuss everything very detail level. What are the best possibilities we yeah. have as per your profile and all that will help for okay. both. Yeah. Okay. Then. Yeah. Since we just planned this session for this very generic discussions. Okay. Let's limit to the same here. So if if you have any like uh, queries related to your profile or something else, if you if you want to discuss. Talk to the team; they'll arrange one-on-one -on -one call. We can discuss. Okay. Please. Hello. Because the, the reason is certain things I should not discuss in this meeting right? <laughs> when, when I suggest something. Okay, okay, sure. Please. Thanks. Yeah, please. Hello. Um, myself Nagu. Actually, yeah, I have yeah. a doubt. Uh, what is this BPM actually? Uh, FSM Everything you will learn. Everything you learn. Uh, do you know EBS? Before that, no, no, so I don't have any idea yeah. on EBS. But but see, if you don't know EBS, you don't know all this. You don't know all this, right? Everything we are going to learn. Since you got a question on BPM only, I'll tell you. Yes. So it's for approvals, okay. So when you are going to create the transaction, say you created invoice, you want to make the payment. Before making the payment, this invoice should be approved. Here you can write the rules. Who can approve the invoice? Okay. Those all rules you can define. So okay. this, yeah, you can define the rules. If you, if invoice is not approved, you cannot make the payment. Okay, okay. that you can control the business process. Okay, business process management. How you are going to manage your business process after creating invoice? Anyone can go and make the payment, or somebody has to approve this invoice. Fine. The same okay. way. We can use the BPM in this uh, same applications also. We'll use the BPM in the fusion purchasing application, fusion order management, many applications. When we are doing some activity in the system, that activity need to be controlled by approvals or freely that activity can take into next step. That can be decided by BPM, business process management, where you can implement the approvals. What does it mean by approvals? How we set, how it works? That is all about our course. We are going to, that is the reason I said, if you don't understand certain terms, certain things here by seeing, don't worry. This is what we are going to learn. When you learn, we'll understand. Okay, please. Any other questions? Uh, hi, sir. Uh, yeah, Delhi Pierre. Yeah, please. Uh, sir, like, uh, uh, actually, like, um, I'm working in a um, backend operations, like uh, uh, processing of invoicing and trans receipts, uh, everything. Okay, now. Okay. So, uh, what I feel over here is that the the, pro, the uh, process which is explaining you, so, which you explained. So it's a one-time process, right? So do we like one second, one second? Here, let me talk about the same. You are working on that process. That means the implementation is done. Implementation, yes. the business is performing the transactions, right? They are creating invoices, they are creating payment, they are creating the receipts. You are working on that process. Yes. Here, what you are going before they work. First of all, everything should be ready, right? Yes. Say, for example, they are they are creating invoices, they are creating the payments as a part of payables department by using the accounts payable application. Mm -hmm. They are using payables that is implemented, that is implemented by consultant. Yes. That area you are going to learn how to implement payables, how to implement receivables, how to implement all these so that the business can do all these activities. Yes, sir. Like my question is like uh, 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 this implementation is a one-time process. So uh, exactly, implement. Does our job role is for limit for like certain period or like a uh, it will feel for long? Yeah. In each implementation, when I talk about these fusion applications, you can see the implementation period as six months, or eight months, or one year, or many years also. It totally depends who is your client. Mm -hmm. so, it is doing the business in one country and they have three, four branches and limited business process. You may complete in six months or eight months. Yes. Our client is doing the business is a very big organization, not very small, medium size organization. It may take one year time. Okay. 
the client is very large it may take 2 years 3 years or else the client is going to implement this vision applications where they are operating the business in 100 countries or 50 countries it takes mm -hmm. lots of time once implementation is done we no need to worry about it there will be n number of uh, like implementations which will keep coming for the companies who are working as a consulting companies for oracle so there you will be part of the consultant after implementation always client needs support okay lifetime lifetime say you implemented you are part of an implementation project implementation project is one year after implementation client will start using you should be there in the project to support them or else your company may switch to other implementation project or else they may ask you to continue in the support project lifetime if they implement okay. if they touch this vision application lifetime they need our support hmm. implementations and the supports okay. how is the growth in the com like uh, oracle field sir because uh, uh, i'm totally uh, new to this i'm, I'm having 9 years of experience in uh, uh, back end operations so uh, how is the like uh, growth over here yeah you see when you talk about oracle application now we are talking about fusion yes okay. prior to fusion we have EBS. Yeah, EBS. Yeah. Eleven or twelve. It was very good. Okay, it was very good. To do better than that, to do good business with their Oracle application, they came up with a fusion applications. Okay. In the next session, I'll talk about what is the meaning of fusion. There you can understand how it is better compared to any other applications. But the simple answer is. yes you can find good opportunities on the fusion application again it is not like some local local opportunities global op opportunities if you want to work in india yes you can work if you want to work on work in us it is very easy for you to switch i mean the country like if you want to work on uh, work in us if you have a fusion skill easily you can get the job in other countries okay okay it provides very global opportunities and uh, after fusion there are huge demand for oracle applications okay on ebs also there was good demand but compared to ebs the opportunities became double why we will understand in the next session i'll talk about what is a fusion what is a cloud how oracle built fusion applications when mm -hmm. i about it you will come to know again we will discuss the same points over here to answer sure. the question it is yeah. doing really good now Yeah, hi sir. So, as you said, can we cover project costing? Introduction of project costing. See, project is complete area. That is a PPM. Okay, project portfolio management in that costing, building, and all. Because we are going to deal with the financials. If you want to understand, if you want to understand how to create, okay, project related invoice and the payables, okay, that I I can show you. That is integration, but. project costing is purely separate area our course is not ppm since our course is finance finance is tightly connected with scm applications that is the reason i am going to cover that relevant business process also ppm with within the ppm we have project costing project building resource management project management and all so we are not going to touch that is separate course all together okay yeah. if you want to understand say you are creating for example purchase order if the purchase order is belongs to projects how to create that purchase order if you are creating payable invoice if the invoice is belongs to projects how to create if you want to understand that i will cover those are touch base sir uh, hi sir this yeah. is mandana what is the course duration and after the course oh, any okay. support will be there like that cool yeah i'll talk about it so when you talk about the course duration it's going to be 3 months okay 3 months is the course duration classes please go on mute if you don't mind monday to friday Okay. Okay. The timings. Okay. Uh, before timings, I'll tell you something. So, course duration is three months. One month. 
we are going to run this course from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. IST for one month. Total duration is three months. For one month, we will run these classes from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. IST. The rest of two months, we will run the classes by following times like 6 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. That means we are going to pre -pour. Please make a note of this point. Okay, these are the timings. And classes would be on from Monday to Friday. And the practice environment that we call as instance, we'll talk about that also. So to work on all these applications, we need instance. Instance is the environment where we can find all these applications. So this instance, the course duration is three months. You will get access to six months. Okay. And we will give full access to the instance. We are not going to restrict by saying this is just signing only. We cannot give full privileges. You may misuse. This is all we are not going to talk about. You will get full access to the instance and what kind of instance you are going to get that is very much a stabilized instance. Okay. Most of the instances of the market you see, every time they'll remove the data. That's what Oracle. Okay, in the practice training instances, mostly they remove the data. But instance, what you are going to get from R and Ds, that is very much a stabilized instance, which will support your practice and learning 100 percent without repeating your setups and again and again. In many instances in the market, you see. You start doing the setups during this course learning after working on that instance of, for one week. Next week, your setups you don't see in that. Very frequently, Oracle perform the data refresh. They remove the data. We are not going to share that sort of instances for your practice. That should help you. For that, we will provide stabilized instance. Whatever you create, that you can see always in that. So your practice activity would be very, very smooth in the instance what we are going to provide. Say after six months also, you need one more month or two more months that instance for our preparation purpose. No issues. We are ready to extend. We can understand you are learning for that purpose. You are asking the instance after six months, if you need one more month, two more months, yes, we can extend the instance access. Other point is, say you are part of this current batch. Okay. Again, if you want to be part of next batch, no issues. With any reason, may, you may continue and complete the course in this batch. And again, you want to be part of next batch, no issues. Okay. We run the batches morning, evening, and weekends. Now, weekend batch and evening batch already we are running. Those are started. Now, only the slot available is morning batch. And this is all about the timings and instance. Okay. So that's all about it. Any questions, please? Uh, sir, uh, sir, please. Yeah, From yeah, the, second, the second month, uh, the timing is 6 a.m., right? 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. We are going to pre -pour. Yes. Second month, third month? Second month, not. Remaining two months. See, duration is three months. Okay. One month, we'll run the classes from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Okay. Last two months, these are the timings we'll follow. Okay. Sir, so just want to know what is the present market uh, over fusion? And if we put three to four years of experience, what would be the package we are getting? Okay. So market is very good. Not because I am here as a trainer. Okay. Market is very good. You can check if you have uh, source or else you can go to Naukari or Monster job portals. You can search with this title. Okay. Oracle fusion. Okay, Oracle Fusion Financials Consultant, or else you can search with uh, any name you can search, which is different titles we can call Oracle Fusion Financials Consultant, Oracle Fusion Financials Functional Consultant, uh, Oracle Fusion, sorry. Oracle Cloud Financials Consultant Oracle 
cloud financials national consultant please go on mute please please so not only this sorry you can just we can call with the different other titles also these are the primary titles which we use on our course related job opportunities okay or the roles or profile or titles job so you can search with any name you can see how many opportunities we have in the market when you talk about years of experience on the package so if somebody is working with the 3 to 4 years of experience so i'm sorry say 3 years to 4 years of experience you can see package is 7 to 8 or 9 lakhs also okay and 4 plus say 5 years of experience i can see in many cases many people are getting 10 plus 10 lakhs 12 lakhs 13 14 lakhs also the packages are very good okay the packages are very good if you are coming with some reference where somebody suggested you to do this course you can check with them you can get very genuine information you don't need to depend on what i'm saying that is the reality what i'm sharing you can check with the source where you can go and ask them who are working okay there also you can come to know okay but in the five years you can get 10 plus easily 10 12 13 14 also you can see in the market people are getting and uh, if you are working with the seven or eight years it goes more than 20 that's how we have uh, lakshman uh, after getting hired are you providing any post hire support post hire support see frankly speaking the content what i am going to share that will help you in all the ways if you are looking for for some support and all yes we can uh, connect with some people they, they can help you but i don't involve in that i'm busy with uh, my this trainings other side i am working for yeah. a few companies as a freelancer so i'm quite busy with those activities i i won't be available for that if you are looking for that sort of support uh, we can connect with the people who can help you on that all right thanks hello somebody is saying something but voice is very low Hello. Hello. Uh, no, before you, somebody is speaking. Uh, Keep it loud. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Am I audible? Now you're audible. No audible. Uh, will you be taking up some live cases in the classes? W which cases? Uh, like live case studies. Yeah. Yes. Based on that only, our training would be okay. Based on that only, our training would be the all the business scenarios we'll discuss accordingly. Only we'll do the setups and we'll do the implementation. Uh, and uh, your Apple certification, uh, we have to apply for our Apple certification independently or uh, will you be providing this? No. This, uh, there will be separate uh, process. You can uh, contact uh, the promotic centers. If you need contact number, I can help you uh, by providing the contact number. You can talk to them. They'll tell you the complete process and you can go and do it. So, thank you. Hello? The other point is every session we will record and we will share with all the participants. Going forward, what we'll do is I'll create one Google Drive and each session I'll place in the Google Drive. Okay, the each session I'll place in the Google Drive. We will give the Google Drive access and the videos you can download. We are not going to give read-only access in future, maybe after one year, two years, or three, four years. Anytime if you want to refer these videos. So you can just uh, download and you can keep with you that option we are giving. Anyone can go and download those videos and you can keep with you permanently. And up to one year, up to one year, if you want to be part of other batch, yes, you are welcome. If you subscribe this batch, it's not mandatory how to be part of this one. Up to one year, we are giving the option. You can be part of any other batches also. You completed training in this. After six months, again, you want to be part of another batch. That morning batch or evening batch, weekend batch, you are welcome. No objections. You subscribe means you subscribe for one year. When you sub again, when you subscribe, 
I mean, when again, when you attend in that batch, again, you'll get that batch videos and current batch with the that ba current batch videos means whatever the batch you are going to attend that batch videos you also will get. Now you'll get current batch. When you subscribe, you will get this current batch videos. At the same time, we will share previous batch videos also. Okay, previous batch of videos also we'll share. You can go through those videos if you are, if you have enough time in your hand. You can go through those videos and you can practice on the instance. That's how you can complete the, this on the fast track. Other side, you can attend this live classes. Okay, so please make a note of all these points. Any other questions from anyone, please? Hello, hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. I can hear you. I can hear uh, you. Uh, I have a small question that uh, testing also will be one of the role for functional consultant. Yes, you will learn all those things. Okay, when you when we are going to create invoice, how to create invoice, different scenarios and all. But I, whenever you do, that is learning as well as testing how to create invoice. It's not a very primary activity, simple activity. Okay, if the implementation project duration is uh, say six months for finance, we will test, okay, invoice creation, whether it's working or not, so, uh, so and so type of invoice, are we able to create in the system or not? It is all you will, you can test it. Once you go through these classes, okay, whatever you do, that is your practice. Other side, that only we call as testing. As a part of implementation, we'll have a test scripts and all. As per scripts, you have to test it. We'll uh -huh. list those test scripts sure. and all. Testing okay, activity and... also as a part of implementation process. Okay. Is there are any openings for testing also in the market? Don't look for only testing opportunities on fusion applications. That the consultants itself they'll take care of. Those are not a great testings. There are certain scenarios where client is a very global client and their business process is very much complex. In such kind of scenarios, you will get opportunity as a tester. Okay, let's take example. There is one company called as Xerox, US based company. Okay. For that, many companies are helping them for implementation. In that, that company, they are taking the testing consultants because their business process is very much complex and customized. There they don't plan for a testing role, no use at all. Okay, you won't be in the demand in the future. Plan to work as a consultant. Always okay. you'll be in the demand. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Hi, sir. This is Dilip here. Yeah, Dilip, please. So, uh, regarding the certification, so uh, does certification we do for uh, each scenario like AP, AR, FA separately or like uh, all yeah, we can do one separate scenario? Separately. These are the applications. Okay, separate certification for AP, separate certification for AR, separate certification for general engineer. Okay. F we don't have. Separate applications wise, we have to go for certification. Does the certification is for like a, uh, if you do certification, then it, it will uh, restrict to like a one area of the. Uh... No, 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 no. Say your CV may say you are an expert in, on the finance. The same time you are certified on the payables. You are certified okay. on the payables means you have proof of your skill set. If you okay. show that I certified on the payables, they are not going to leave you. With the payables, definitely they will test you thoroughly. That see, I just now I told you one point, right? How it can be done also, right? Mm -hmm. That is just for a piece of paper as a proof as you pass the exam. Does the certification like um, add any extra advantage to the uh, job role or like uh, it's the same? Sometimes. When we are working in the project, some clients knowingly or unknowingly, they say we need certified consultant. There it will add value addition. When you are trying for a job and all, it's not mandatory. Nobody is going to ask you, are you certified or not? Even if you say certified, interview process, there is no difference. Same they will follow. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Lakshman, I have one question about the timings. Yeah, Actually, please. now uh, I don't have a WFH option. So early morning or a late evening is okay. Uh, so no. uh, see, th these are the timings we are going to follow for this batch. If you have any like concerns about timings, etc., you can talk to the team. Yeah. Okay. We are we are talking about only this batch. The rest and all the, the team can help you. Other batches, etc., they can tell you. Okay. Let's make sure. Yeah. One second, please. Just give me one second. 
So we done for today. Okay. The tomorrow session we'll talk about what is the meaning of fusion, what is the meaning of cloud, and other points very detail level. Those are very very important for us to understand. So once we are done with that, we can start working on the instance and the wherever we have to understand certain things theoretically, we'll discuss and accordingly we'll proceed. So we that for today. If you have any questions, you can stay back. We will discuss. If you have any questions, you can stay back. One second, one second. You can stay back. We will discuss. If no questions, you may drop from the meeting. Thank you all. See you tomorrow. Now, any so, questions, please. Uh, Lakshman, timing will be, uh, you will be uh, wind up the class at the sharp 9.30? Sharp 9.30, yes. Sharp 9.30. Okay. Yeah. Then, uh, these are introduction classes, right? We may wind up a bit early. Uh, sometimes uh, five, 10 minutes, it may extend. But maybe after four or five classes, we will follow the times like sharp 9.30, we will wind up. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hi, Lakshman, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, please. Yeah, uh, since you mentioned that uh, if we have EBS background, it will be easy to understand everything in Fusion. Uh, how difficult it should be if, if we starting this course without having the EBS background? Because see, I'm, I'm not going to take you through all these concepts lighter side. I'm going to take you through detail level. So everything I'll make you to understand even if you don't have any background could be EBS or something else. I'll take you through where it will reach to everyone. So, EBS background, for them, whatever I'm explaining, information they may not require since they know. Okay. It will become easy for them. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Hi, Lakshman. Good question. Um, yeah, please. For optimal table, and uh, fusion tables, are they any different? I didn't get your question. Could you please repeat? Okay. For EBS R2L well tables, say for example, we have... Okay, EBS okay. Got you. Tables you are talking about. Yes. For finance, no difference. Okay. Finances application. What Oracle did is they copied EBS finance to fusion and they did certain uh, changes. They added some new functionalities, naming convention, the way how we do the setups. These they changed. So core solution is remain same. That is the reason the tables also say. I'll show you okay. the tables also I'll take you through when we deal with the concept called as how to write the SQL queries in the fusion. In that, when we deal with that concept, I'll show you where you can find all the tables in the fusion applications. Those are same as EBS. For finance, mm -hmm. not talking about other. I'm not talking about HCM. I'm not talking about PPM. Or For finance, Tables are same as EBS. Understood. And one more question, like say, for example, we do some setups, right? Say, for example, uh, in payable options, like uh, there might be some setups like uh, approvals or invoices correct, or whatever correct. labels, right? Yeah. So you might be explaining the each and every single fleet for what reason we are enable, enabling. Yeah, yeah based field. on, a, see, that, that is the reason we have all these concepts. Okay, these all concepts will refer that only. I mean, the reason, the question why I'm asking is once we enable those options, like where it goes... You want to work on this, right? Say, for example, see, take example. I want to implement, implement third-party payments. If I want to implement third-party payments, I have to go and enable relevant checkboxes. Otherwise, you cannot implement in the payables. So you want okay. to invoice approvals. The payables, I have to enable relevant checkboxes. I have to set some information accordingly. Otherwise, we cannot implement. I want to implement this bills payables concept. I have to go and enable certain checkboxes or else I have to go and provide the bills payable account wherever it is required, then only it will work. That everything I'll cover. Okay, okay, sure. Thank you. Because that is a that is actual learning, right? So otherwise, without doing offline, if I complete and if I show the process, doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the reason why I'm asking is in the supplier in supplier page, if you enable something, it won't impact in the site level. So Correct. Those I'll cover, those I'll cover. Okay, for which concept, what we have to enable, where you have to enable, which, if you enable in somewhere, in some setups, where it will impact. Okay, okay. same option is available where, why they're given in two places. This all we'll discuss. Okay, okay. 
and by considering all this uh, so many uh, points right the process flow and everything like there are so many setups so yes. will it be done within three months or it it, it will be extendable you see max because we are going to spend minimum one hour 30 minutes okay yeah. uh -huh. so definitely we'll be able to complete if required we'll extend. we are flexible okay what uh -huh. how we planned that i'm telling if we, it demands few more days time yes we will extend and we'll do it sure thank you so much that's all i have see the target is whatever i'm addressing here i'll cover everything but not very basic level detail level yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Uh, my name is Shravan. Yeah, please. Uh, actually, I am concerned about the timing, Lakshman. Uh, so, I am working in night shift, actually. I am doing uh, the job. Okay. So, this 8 a.m. to 9.30 is very much comfortable because I, I work in EST. So, my okay. lagout time is uh, night uh, 1, 1 a.m. Yeah. So, uh, after one month, you are uh, like uh, reponing that to 6 a.m., right? So, that is some uh, difficult uh, election. So, yeah. is there any chance to continue in the 8 a.m.? No, no, no. Because this is how we schedule. Not only this, every batch, this is how we schedule. Oh, yeah, this is a little bit difficult. There are very strong <laughs> reasons behind it from our side. Okay. Okay. Again, my work and all, like you are telling about concern about your work and etc. in the same way. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and Lakshman here, uh, yeah. so like for one month, I can continue in the live classes. But yeah. uh, as you are saying that, you will give the recordings, right, for previous yes. batches. So yeah. can previous I... Previous batch and you will get current batch also. Uh, okay, in that case, can I continue with those uh, recordings? Yeah, you that, can clearly uh, you can go like, through. Uh, if you have any questions, we can connect. Okay. Okay, right. Oh, so there will be no difference, right? In the live and the recording. No difference, no difference. Because see, first first point is I will explain each and everything. Okay. There itself okay. Mm -hmm. will write off. Yeah. Okay, and uh, the like uh, while do we are doing uh, practice, uh, mm -hmm. so is there any doubt uh, in that case? Yeah. How, how to uh, yeah. approach? How uh, to, I'll tell you. See, one is if it is a instance related or simple transaction setup related or transaction related, you can send me email. That is one option. If that can be resolved with this email communication, okay. Or else our team will arrange a call. Okay, since you are uh, busy with some other uh, your no, job no, and see, other training, it, right? uh, so no, no, what no. will be the... Because, yeah. see, if you have small issue, it is not for one hour or two hours, right? It's just it's a call and I'll just what's wrong and what to do, I'll suggest. Otherwise, if you okay. ask me, you please look into, I'll look into and I'll fix it. That is not an issue. That's what we are doing. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the next one here, uh, like... Uh, 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 approaching you, that is okay, but uh, sometimes you are busy. Is there any other uh, like uh, um, tutors or something else who will uh, help? Uh, no, no, I'll be available. Don't worry about it. I'll be available. Okay. okay you are not going to ask my one day time, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, again, see, this these applications and all not new to me. It, it's just nothing for me. Anything like, correct. you are going to ask as issue or is simply in one go. First one go, I can fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Lakshman. That, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hi, Lakshman. Uh, Santosh yeah, here from Mumbai. Yeah, Santosh. yeah, Santosh, please. Yeah. Basically, question is about uh, uh, India GST. So, are you covering India GST or EV tax on future? EV tax. EV tax because, uh, see, when you talk about localization, every country, <laughs> it has their uh, own localization, right? Yeah, global. Uh, their correct, correct, correct. We, we will see, which is a very common, which can be useful for most other countries, that EV, EVT, e-business tax. The same we are calling as a fusion tax in fusion. Rakel, EBS. EBT business tax and fusion, they named it as fusion tax. And, and if you are following Indian uh, company, so so same kind of structure for GST, if you can say set up part and all, can yeah, be used? The tax or... rates and all those you have to set up accordingly, the conditions, uh, the derivation and all you have to change. But that's simply, see, once you go through it, you can refer that for which country you are doing implementation, you can refer that country localization document. That's enough. 
and sir one more uh, one appreciation for you sir in Please. 2018 lab for uh, e uh, ebs uh, training and uh, 2015 2018 18 okay okay yeah and and from the training uh, the 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 way you have uh, taught and uh, that your teaching style that you are putting things on excel and then you are taking through the course and setup and all so it's amazing sir i have also gone through couple of trainer and i have lost my money this is the application for you sir because uh, and and once completed my training i again i have gone through your recording and i have created uh, notes of say uh, 1000 pages of notes for all all modules and that okay, notes great, is helping great. me a lot sir every time whenever i'm working on any of the project okay currently i'm working on mmc uh, that is mars and mclaren company and where i have done so many implementation uh, support and uh, i'm the track lead currently and yes, my growth yes, is sir. amazing sir so i'm really appreciate your your training style and and none of the trainers in the market i can say the you they cannot touch your style sir so this is, so this is for you sir yeah see see my target is that my target is you should get benefited max it is not like uh, <laughs> starting batch and taking p and closing as soon as possible to start another batch yeah, that's what uh, I don't know many people are doing or not, but that is not our my object. So Max, what I can do that I'm trying to do, that's all. Uh, anyway, thanks for your note. Yes, sir, that even I was thinking we should come Hyderabad and I should meet you. Sir. <laughs> and and uh, as a guru grace, I should uh, um, uh, touch your food, sir. Really, sir, I appreciate your this training is, style and, and really it's learning for everyone, sir. Great. That was just, I was thinking so many times. Uh, yeah. Okay, and, and so uh, today I've got the time to <laughs> sir. Great, good to know. Like after completing your training, you got the job on EBS Arto. You you I want to work in sir eight years in or or fusion. Yeah. yeah. Currently, sir, working on fusion project, sir. Yes. Oh, sir. okay, okay, great. Great, good to know. I appreciate it. Uh, I like my sir. Yeah, please. Uh, I am Amagadan. Actually, I am new to the market. Like a. Uh, below two years experience i am doing this uh, fusion uh, course it is uh, i am if i am resume building like there are more year, uh, more two years experience in fusion it's helpful to me one second i'll answer your question offline let me stop the recording yeah please most of the companies uh Sir, most of the companies I see EBS are they are already working on it from very long time. So, okay. is there any chance all the EBS companies are moved to fusion in future? They will move very soon because see they implemented EBS. The huge investment they done already, right? So, because fusion came into the market that much easily, they cannot switch from EBS to fusion. So very soon they will move. Very soon they will move. Already few clients moved. Okay. Or like what type of clients they moved is who implemented EBS 10 years back. Now they enjoyed. 10 years they enjoyed with the EBS application. Now they want to go with the fusion. The people who implemented 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 years back. Okay. Less than 10 years. They are continuing with EBS only. The new clients are going with the fusion. And few EBS clients already they moved to fusion. And few clients are on the pipeline now. That's what you can see the reality. And one more thing is to move from EBS to Fusion, there is no upgrade process. If they want to move from Fusion to EBS to Fusion, again, they have to do this as a from the scratch. They have to treat EBS as a legacy, previous system, Fusion as a current application. So that approach only we have to follow and already they invested a lot on the EBS applications. That is the reason certain period, at least for certain period, they want to continue. That is the reason few clients are continue, few clients are moved. So different scenarios we have. Most of the new clients are going with the uh, fusion applications. Yep. Hello. Yeah, please. Uh, so I have one question related to the P2P cycle. Yeah. Uh, suppose we are create a requisition with the help of the functional means UI. Uh, okay, like requisition number and requisition view. Uh, so we can uh, uh, 
create one SQL query of letter of that field like uh, amount, then line description, then uh, yeah, what you is can the write SQL. possible in a fusion that is possible. You can do that. No, no, you teach or not? That is my question. In uh, is that is the course. No, no, no. What you said the queries, the writing queries, our course. Are you talking what exactly? Uh, means suppose we are creating a requisition with the functional Requisition. part. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are the some uh, there are the requirements fields like uh, mm -hmm. requisition name and uh, then description and then item name. Okay, so we uh, uh, we are explaining of that field or just only uh, creating the requisitions or you yeah, yeah, yeah. the okay, got you. See, our yeah. course is all about how to create that requisition, how to create the purchase order, how to create the invoice, how to invoice receipts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a functional. Okay. So you see, even you can write here also. That's not a big job, right? Just you, you have to go to that recreation table, see which columns are there, what is the table name. You can write to select so and so column from so and so table. That is for you. Even you learn that also you can do. That is some piece of work. That's all. Okay. So I stuck the one for field. So can uh, can you help on that you know, after some course? Yeah, I'll show you in the course only how to write SQL queries. I'm going to take you through that uh, section there. I'll show you where you can find all the application related tables, which table for what purpose, and which table. Yeah. For, I'll show you everything that you can follow and you'll be able to do anything. Uh, both flows like a P2P and O2C. I will cover P2P and O2C. Okay. Whatever the okay. information you want to query, you can query that. I'll show you the path there. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, hi, hi, Lakshman, sir. So yeah, I'm, I'm working in uh, some uh, other company, XYZ. So from, I okay. have uh, almost uh, 10, 10 years experience. So does okay, it, uh, okay. if I start training in new course, I have experience in Oracle, R12. Mm -hmm. I start in uh, uh, Fusion. And uh, my CV says, says like the 10 years experience. And does it stop anything like I don't here yeah, see, I don't uh, suggest or recommend anything, but I'll tell you the fact what people are doing. Okay. Yep, the yes. people uh, with the same profile who are working on Oracle application from last 10 years on EBS 11 or R12. Mm -hmm. What they are doing is after learning fusion course, four or five years they are converting into fusion. Okay. Okay. The CV they are converting. From one to five years, I worked on EBS R12. For the last five years, I'm working on Fusion. Yeah, my question is here, sir. Here, my question is here. It's same like that. So yeah. I did not change any company. I'm, I'm, I was there 10 years in the same company. If I change company, we can write it like See, but the same company. Yeah, please. please go same company, that's okay. Same company also, they can do the Fusion implementations, right? Okay, okay. Right. Say for five years, you worked as a EBS practice. After five years, you move to fusion practice. From last five years, you have been working as a fusion finance consultant. That's how people are building their profiles. I am not certain. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, sir, one final question, sir, I have. So it's Please. particular to me. So I have almost eight plus years of experience in account payables as an end user, as okay. invoice processing and queries. And uh, I have good uh, good package, like eight plus of package. So how this course may be helpful to you and how you suggest See, me to proceed? As of, as of today, it's a good. Will, is it going to be good after two years, three years, four years also? You have to think. Okay, so when you do this course, when you start, you may get same package, but after working one year or two years, you will see the drastic change in your package. That's how this course will help you. See, being an end user and all, after one year, what will be your package? Will it go to nine or 10? Yes, sir, same, sir. Almost yeah. one or two lakhs. The same if you apply, if, if you are working as Oracle Fusion Financial Consultant, okay, with the four years or five years of experience, your package would be now more than eight or say eight only. After working for one year, there is an opportunity since your package is just eight only, you can double also or else 12, 13. And again, in the next jump, it goes to again, four, five lakhs, and in coming five years, 
you will be 25 plus if you are working in india if you if you go to us monthly easily you can get in inr 10 lakhs this is all okay sir thank you sir thank you yeah thanks any other questions um lakshman i have a question related to ppm uh, are you also providing the training on the ppm as well yeah ppm also now we are running one batch already and we okay. may come up with the next batch schedules very soon okay um i am the end user of uh, project sir so i am handling the project Okay. So this is uh, yeah. So I would like to take PPM. How how this financial is useful for me? I also had an experience on APRG yeah. lender company and all of the other financial related um, in, uh, all those um, modules. Uh, I am also working now currently on the project. So uh, would you suggest me project See, or finance? I'll talk about it. Financials. Mm -hmm. Yes. PPM. PPM. Use job opportunities you can find in the market and finance. Okay. After finance, the best area is SEM. Goes to second. This is first. Okay. You go and check in the job portals or you look at any company. By default, definitely they go for finance implementation because finance is the backbone for their company. They have to manage their financial information very effectively. So definitely they'll go with the finance. After finance, huge job opportunities you can find on SCM. Other side, HCM also we have. And less opportunities on PPM. Okay. If you learn PPM, you'll get job. And again, another point also you have to understand. Okay. Huge demand for finance, after finance, SCM or HCM. SCM supply chain management or HCM human capital management, PPM project portfolio management goes to third place. Very few clients, very less clients use this PPM for their business. Right? You know, like very less companies only do the projects, right? Yeah. And it, when it comes to getting but, jobs, okay, getting jobs and working on financials, very easy. Very easy process. Dealing with the financials is very easy. And dealing with SEM is a little difficult. Not at all. Dealing with the PPM is very difficult. Okay. Finance is very simple process. Compared to finance, SEM is little more process driven. Many scenarios. PPM is too much process driven. Too much process driven. So when you work as an end user, it doesn't make any difference for you in three cases because nowhere you are providing the solution. You are nowhere implementing these applications. Cool. Just finance or SCM or PPM, simply entering the transactions and running the reports and dealing with that. Job is easy. But when you are going to implement, you have to design the solution. For simple process, designing solution is easy. For a difficult processes, designing solution also will be difficult. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. This is what we have to understand. Finally, our interest works. Okay, you can pick up on it. Uh, also, on the instance, another question sir, on the instance front. Uh, yeah. How often are they refreshing the instance? I mean, no, uh, the data will be so whatever the instances I am going to provide, max those won't get refreshed. During oh. three months, I don't think so. They will refresh at least one time. If they refresh, maybe one time. Oh, okay. but I'll, I'll try to provide the instances which are not going to be refreshed, max. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sir. Thanks. Uh, hello, Lakshmi. This is Adnan. Please. Yeah, actually, I have a doubt here. Actually, actually I'm working on, I'm doing support for supply chain modules in RPG uh, yes, What I'm yes, asking, yes, now I'm going, uh, now I'm going to learn financial, right? In financial also, we have a lot of things which is related to supply chain management, right? Yes. So what yes. I'm asking, uh, you have a separate course for supply chain management, right? Yeah, we have a separate course. Hmm. So Maybe separate. able to get uh, some access for that course if I purchase this financial course. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, no, course videos are you talking about? 
Yeah, I was talking about the recorded videos. We have, we, we need any extended support for support in our. Oh uh, no, 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 we we don't have that. Hmm. Instance you can use for your SCM related practice and uh, PPM for any purpose. Okay. Even, oh, but it's yeah. actually, uh, I need I need a suggestion from your side also, since I have a experience around three plus of your experience. Three years. Okay. Years, okay. So <clears throat> what my seniors, you know, my colleagues and my seniors told, uh, go for technical things because uh, after five to six years, we'll be not able to learn technical. We'll be able to learn financial thing all after 10 years also, we'll be able to learn financial thing. So is it advisable to go for functional or technical? If you ask me, please mm -hmm. go for technical. Not only in Oracle, take any other technologies or application. Nowadays, companies are trying to reduce the technical burden. Mm -hmm. Most of the technical stuff they are converting into functional. Okay. Technical people, especially when you talk about these applications, scope is very, very less. I'll give you a simple example. If you take 10 EBS implementations, for each implementation, minimum, minimum one technical consultant is required. Minimum one. Okay. That means how many technical consultants require 10? For 10 EBS implementation, 10 technical mm -hmm. services required for each implementation, minimum one. Okay. Depending on the demand, the customizations, what we do, maybe for 10 implementation projects, 10 EBS implementation, we may need 15 also. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you talk about fusion, drastically they reduced the technical work and what all the technical work is left, they limited with a simple way of doing it, drag and drop less coding, drag and drop. Okay. If you take 10 fusion implementation projects, hardly you may need two or three consultants. That's all. We don't need dedicated consultant. Fusion. Okay, very limited work. Okay. Yeah. Now, based on this, you can understand. Okay, if you want to learn fusion, you can learn already. I just informed like what primarily you have to learn. BIP reports, business intelligence publisher reports, and Oracle integration cloud, OIC, where, which we can use for integrations, which is a part of SOVA, service oriented infrastructure, and ADF. Okay, mostly these two only will be useful. If client is going to use a pass, then only you can use ADF. Otherwise, in the implementation, fusion cloud implementations, in case of SaaS, you can use only this two. This you cannot touch. Oracle is not allowed to do the Age related customization. For customization, we are doing this ADF right now. I'm not sure. ADF but, for pages. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the customization, yes. we are doing it. Actually, in Oracle EBS, we have we call it OAF, right? This is from OAF. Oh, yeah. Here we are using ADF. Mm -hmm. Advanced. Okay. This is advanced than that. So I have, I have other pages. Here ADF pages. Oh. Then I have other one doubt. Uh, Please. Since it is in financial model, right? You will be able to understand all the financial uh, or the technical terms, right? not related to the Oracle. I'm asking in general, right? Because uh, in my company, most people are from financial background, so they are able to get all the technical things. Technical thing means they are uh, whatever they have studied, now from their colleges or actually I'm from BE graduate, but most of my colleagues are from actually they have completed. They have not completed CA. They have some ICM something. They are I'm not sure. See, I'll tell you one thing. I got it. So now it, the reality how it is working, where you get more money, there we are going. <laughs> okay, learning and starting and requires struggling and getting settled. Okay. This is what happened. Okay. 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 I, I have seen different, different scenarios where they are nowhere related to something, but they are working on that. No, I'm not asking nowhere related. Will I be able to get that things from here, from this course of okay? all that uh, words of the financial words? Right? Financial words means. In the course, when any company is going to use these applications, okay, mm -hmm. so what process they have to follow, what activities they do, everything you learn from the course. Max, the see, Oracle build these applications as per real business to support real business. They <coughs> the terminology and all everything will come across with this. Because in what is what uh, in big four companies now all people are expecting some CAs or uh, what is some it? Companies, or some companies. That is mm -hmm. companies, not all companies. No, not all the companies have I checked with Deloitte and KPMG, but uh, most people are expecting. One uh, second, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. the and what is the other company you said? 
Deloitte and KPMG, right? Uh, Deloitte and KPMG. I'll show you the people who are working uh, as a financials functional consultants. Who's back? Mm. Okay. That's what I said. I see. It's not like uh, like. No, actually, in that, how does that happen? They, they look for the. Uh, one second. C R C W. Mm. Hiring them as a freshers, most of the cases. If somebody is saying who has a BTEC background and if he's going to say, I have a four years of experience on Varaki Fusion financials application and I'm looking for job change, they don't think about their educational background. They think about how many years of experience the guy has. They do the interview. If they're happy with that skill set the guy has, they'll take him. That's what's happening. If you are trying as a fresher, okay, trying as a fresher, my background is BTEC. Okay, <laughs> and uh, I want to work on financials. They says, "What is your background? <laughs> work know where it match? Please go for uh, HCM or something else." They uh, people are suggesting to do SCM because SCM can get it. I said HCM. Yes, HCM or SCM. <laughs> Same time, I'm telling it's all about where you want to be. Accordingly, you can choose. Sure, sure, sure. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for the conversation. Any other questions? Great, no questions. So that's all for today. We'll connect tomorrow, same time, sharp eight o'clock. We'll run the session tomorrow from eight to nine thirty. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.